I was born on the way to the nearest refugee camp in Uganda. My family had to flee South Sudan because of the war. A lot of people were killed, a lot of people were displaced. My family had been in refugee camp for 25 years. I grew up there. This was my house up there. The best way I can describe being in a refugee camp is like being locked in a, in a room alone. And you actually don't know what is out, happening outside. For us as refugees, we didn't have that inspiration. And there were a lot of organizations giving us food to eat. The organization did give us clothes. But GRS was so different because it was focusing on education. I remember when GRS is going to distribute textbooks or uniform. That day, we will all go to school because we really love books. We really want to be able to learn. It's more than just realizing your worth. Without education, you cannot understand who you are and what you can be able to bring to the world. GRS was able to inspire people to see the potential in them. And that's why my mother worked so hard to actually go and save money for three years to buy for me my first computer. She understand that education is important for me and I would do anything to be able to learn. That movement really changed my life. From living in a refugee camp to running his own business in Washington, D.C. Luol Mayen. Luol Mayen. Please welcome Luol Mayen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. A new video game that premiered today may be like none you've ever seen. Right now, I'm a game designer, a developer, and I'm the CEO of Genoop Game. I want people to have empathy on refugees for them to understand what they go through. I'm making Salam. It's a game that teach people about refugees. In the game, you have to take a refugee from a war-torn country to a peaceful environment. In the game, you have to buy food, you buy water, you buy medicine when your character is hard. You're actually buying somebody in a refugee camp. Those resources. I'm creating my foundation to be able to educate refugees with technology and building a technology center in Uganda, in the refugee camp that I grew up in. We can be anything we want to be, as long as there's an opportunity for us. For refugees, that's something they yearn for. And when they find it, they don't let it go. Every single day, there is a refugee that is experiencing the same thing that I experienced 20 years ago. Hearing their stories is important, but telling them what they can be able to accomplish is a different thing. That's something that really JRS was able to do to walk beside me and believe in me.